Hi, and thanks for joining me on my channel. I'm just gonna start this video by putting on a pair of gloves because today we're making a stinging nettle plant tea. And this stuff, boy, it stings. If you look at the leaf, there's little tiny hairs, little spikes on the end, and if they get into your skin, it's trouble. So we wanna totally avoid that. I use extra long gloves because I don't want nettles anywhere on my skin at all. So what we need is the gloves, a pair of scissors, you've got your, uh, your uh, just some water. This is water, this is not uh, rain water, but it's tap water that I left out overnight to remove the chlorine. So you don't want any chlorine in there. You don't want to just use tap water right away. Here's a jar, you can use a bucket if you want. And this is the finished, well, not finished product. I made this yesterday. So I started to brew this yesterday. And if you take a look, you'll see those little bubbles should subside in one to two weeks. When they fully stop, we can strain the tea and we can make a 1% or a one to 10 ratio of nettles to water. So today we're going to use this jar. And we're just going to really, you could just really stuff it in there if you want to. It's hard to do with gloves on. It's really hard to do with gloves on, actually. I should get bigger. Oh, here we go. Here's a bigger pair of scissors. So if you've got thick gloves on, make sure that you get a big pair of scissors. Now, if you're using a bucket, like if you use one of those five gallon buckets, you don't really need to chop it. You can just throw the whole plant in. When you're foraging for this, it's literally everywhere. There's not really any sustainability issues with it, but it is always wise to leave about 30% of, or take 30% of the crop. In this case, because it's everywhere, you could probably take half or even a little more because it'll just grow and grow and grow. It's really great because it's free. And you're going to use this tea on your green leafy vegetables. So uh, not necessarily uh, anything that's flowering, but more, uh, more things like lettuces and kale, spinach, Swiss chard, and other grains. So you can see I've filled it up. I don't know if we're going to need the rest. I don't think we're going to need the rest of these. I think that's pretty good. Now you want to leave a little bit of space at the top as well because you don't want to have a problem with this all bubbling up. It's a ferment um, and so there's going to be some oxygen per, uh, produced. So it needs a place to go. So okay, so that's that. Now I'm just going to put these in the compost bin right away and we don't want to be touching those again. So here's my jar and here's the water. We're just going to pour that in. Oops, okay, that's not bad. So you can see here, a bit of a space is left, not much, like an inch or two, maybe two inches kind of thing. Yeah, that'll be good. And uh, and so, and then we're just gonna put the lid on. You can use any jar you want, really. So this is gonna sit in a sunny spot. It's gonna sit right on this table for, like I said, about one to three weeks. And then um, I'm gonna use it for leaf development. It also strengthens the plant. And another use for it is that you can actually use it to accelerate your compost bin. So uh, if that's going a little bit slow, that you can fix it. Well, you can help it along with uh, the nettle. Just a few cautions. Uh, there's uh, little spikes in the tea, so be careful. Uh, don't use it on plants or roses or other plants that are intolerant to iron because there's iron in it. Um, in fact, there's uh, a lot of micro and macronutrients in it and they're all great for the plant. Um, the other thing is it can get a little bit stinky, but if you put it in a jar rather than like a bucket with something on top, then it shouldn't be a problem. Also, uh, just turn this every, or even stir it every day or so, every couple of days. And um, yeah, that's that. It's really, really simple. It's a very nutritious food for your plants. It'll help you grow big leafy vegetables and um, it's very easy to make. So if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and that will make it possible for me to make more videos like this for you. Thanks and have a great day.